Greetings, trombonists at large. I am the Vagrant Trombone, here today to talk to you about your trombone sly lock. Now, recently I had a student who had used valve oil to try to make his slide lock work better, and it was oozing out and getting black gunk all over his hands. And Well, that, a story for another time. Anyway, he asked me how to remove his slide lock so that he could clean it, and I told him he just unscrew it on that model of horn. So he immediately unscrewed it and took it all away, took off the slide and took it off, and then he was like trying to, and trying to get it down, and there was grease getting on here, and is nicking the, and I was like, no, 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 no. I said, there's a better way to do it. And I showed him that uh, you can take off the slide lock. What you do is you unlock the slide lock and you pull your slide out a little bit and you grab it with your hand. You don't want it to be too far off because otherwise you might pinch it a handy here and that's no good. So you just pull it down, you hold on to it, and then you simply unscrew it and huh, voila, it falls onto the hand brace and then you can take off the slide like normal. You can clean it up and get all the grease off and do what you need to do and service your slide at the same time. And then when you're ready to put it back on, you stick it back on here, make sure that the little bar is facing the correct direction, and then you bring it back up. But you don't want to bring it all the way up to the top because ooh, crunch, and then you can damage the slide, maybe even bend the hand brace a little bit. But you get it up here and then you can simply screw it back on. It just goes it goes on so easy, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, you don't want to cross throw it like I'm doing right now, because then that would be bad, too. So you just get it back on there, and you screw it all the way back on, and fixed. Now, if you have your slide lock all the way on, and it goes past this little lug here, that's because the felts in your cork barrel have worn down too far. And if that happens, the slide will go in too far as well, and it can actually start to hit the slide lock. Now... Having a shorter first position for some of us might seem like a good idea because then seventh position is closer too, but it's not. Because if you bring the slide in farther, first position between the B-flat and the D get closer together. So the B-flat doesn't get out of tune, the D gets flat. And then the distance from the D to the F gets wider, so the F is really sharp and the D is still flat. So keep your cork corks uh, in good condition or your felts inside your cork barrels in good condition you don't have that problem another thing about a trombone slide lock is you don't want to turn it too hard to keep it over here on this side because if you do it can crush down the threads and that's not good for it either eventually it could actually start to come all the way over and it'll start hitting your hand brace and making noise now some people don't like it because sometimes it pops up well, it works its way loose while you're playing and then it buzzes. Well, in that situation, you remove your slide lock and you pull out some cork grease or chapstick or something and you just take it, put a little dab on, and then replace the slide lock if you can. <laughs> and ooh, nice and quiet, smooth action. And then it won't buzz. And now that you know how to properly remove your slide lock, it'll be easier for you to take it off more often and clean it and keep it from getting gooey, grimy gunk in there. Because eventually anything, like even the, even, the, uh, even the cork grease, will start to come out. And then you get gooey, grimy, gummy goop all over you. And it gets on you and your clothes and your music. And you might get some on your face. And at the end of a concert, your mom won't want to give you a hug for doing a good job. And your girlfriend will never kiss you. So... Uh, try to avoid that.